I'm Ina Freed. I'm here in San Francisco with Scott Guthrie after the launch of Microsoft Silverlight 3. Um, Silverlight 3, uh, the next version, obviously, uh, what's the big deal about it? Well, we, ship, we just shipped Silverlight 3 today, and then we also shipped the release candidate of our Expression Studio 3 uh, products that target it. And uh, Silverlight 3 is a big release for us. Um, it's actually our third release in the last sort of 20 to 22 months. Uh, so we're moving pretty fast. Silverlight 3 kind of extends uh, support in a variety of different dimensions. Uh, much richer media support, things like uh, hardware graphics acceleration, H.264, uh, video support, and then uh, support for our smooth streaming capability, which does kind of a very sort of silky smooth adaptive streaming um, all, all, over, all over HTTP against a web server. Uh, represent pretty big features. We have graphics features like 3D, bitmap APIs, uh, uh, graphic shader effects, uh, and a bunch of just sort of capabilities around building kind of immersive experiences. For the end user, one of the things that lets you do is kind of basically take a live stream and pause it, rewind. Yeah, for media now, for like, say, a live event, let's say like uh, this past week we did Wimbledon, uh, the volleyball tournament, Michael Jackson Memorial, uh, the Tour de France is going on right now. You can basically watch uh, high-definition video, so three megabit video or higher. Um, and now we support PVR, which is uh, play. Uh, you can rewind. You can do instant uh, rewatch or s uh, slow motion. Um, and uh, even though the event is live, you know you basically, as a user, have all the control you have, like a TV. And the great thing is it works over you know high definition uh, over the web. And so all you, you know on your Mac, your Windows box, your Linux box, uh, you can now um, you know watch uh, broadcast level quality video. Um, all inside the browser. You mentioned Macs, Windows, and Linux. Uh, those are the places where you can run Silverlight today. Mm -hmm. You've talked about wanting to get it in mobile phones. Mm -hmm. That hasn't happened yet. Kind of how far away is that, and what, what makes that take longer? Yeah, well, we're working closely. So we do have Mac, Window, and uh, Linux box uh, support today with, with Silverlight. And we support all the standard browsers, Firefox, Safari, IE, Chrome, Opera. Um, we're also then uh, with, uh, uh, you'll hear more about it later this year, uh, taking Silverlight to mobile devices. And so uh, standard cell phones and smartphones, whether they're Windows Mobile, uh, we're doing it with uh, Nokia, uh, with Symbian-based phones, will basically allow you to build an app once and run it on both mobile and desktop. And, uh, and you'll see a much richer support for that uh, coming out in the next couple of months. Obviously, Adobe's Flash is something that's on nearly every PC. Where has Silverlight gotten since it launched a couple of years ago? Well, we announced Silverlight for the first time two years ago, and, uh, and as I mentioned, we're on our third release today. Um, Silverlight 2 shipped nine months ago, and uh, now we're actually uh, we're on more than one in three uh, internet-connected devices uh, worldwide. And that, by that, I mean that includes phones, it includes uh, machines that we might not even run on today. So it's it's a fairly large base, uh, but already about one in three already have the most, uh, Silverlight 2 installed. Um, certain countries were now above 50 percent. Um, deploy, um, and, uh, both in Europe and in Asia. Uh, so in general, we're feeling pretty good. Um, and what's nice is, uh, you know, the, the way we've built, the way we've driven that deployment is really around content. And so it's really been applications and sites as they've gone live that have driven installations. And so whether it's Netflix, whether it's Wimbledon, whether it's the Olympics, whether it's March Madness um, here in the U.S. and then worldwide, you know, there's a variety of different events in each country. Uh, that's really driven uh, download and demand. And so, you know, as more sites go live and as more capabilities come out with Silverlight, uh, we're continuing to see kind of the acceleration and deployment accelerate. So we're feeling really good about deployment right now. Great. Thanks, Scott. Thanks.